exactly what came through in my meditation this morning was visions of my mother. And I realized the courage that this being, her act of courage. So what wants to come through, we're talking about protection is courage. It takes courage sometimes to protect what is precious. When I was 12 years old and it was brought to my mother's awareness that I was being abused by my father, that uh, he in that moment had the courage to call the cops. The love within her, the truth within her, the spirit within her rose up in that occasion. It rose up and it did what was needed. It, 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 she provided protection, even in the face of adversity. She had an eighth grade education and not a whole lot of uh, confidence in herself to support her 12 year old and eight year old daughter, but she did what she had to do and it all worked out. But that act of courage uh, was pivotal. I would not be standing here today if she had not had that courage, because it's not always what happens in that situation, right? And so I was thinking of meditating upon the spirit of the womb. So in attunement, you know, this is a, a crucial thing in creating sanctuary for ourselves and for others. Uh, courage to see what's true, to see what's true about yourself, which isn't always easy because we have these shadows, right? So to see what's true, what's really moving and have the courage to face it, have the courage to release it and to see that for other people. We can't do it for others unless we can do it for ourselves. Otherwise we're just, you know, trying to buy, provide protection in a distorted way. In my meditation, I was thinking about, you know, this is such a, a natural way of being is like this in all of us. It's not just women, but like this, this, power within us to protect, to care for what is precious to us. You see it in nature. We all know that like the epitome of, uh, of ferociousness is the mother bear, right? You threaten those cubs, you'll meet the mother bear <laughs> in a way you may not enjoy. But it, to me, it's just like there is this ongoing courage that is required of all of us in this world today to just really be vigilant in our own connection, to be vigilant in what it is that we're bringing, to be vigilant in our connection with the divine so that we can see what's really going on, so we can really speak to those things that are oppressive. So we can really protect what is precious in our world. And this just doesn't go for the people around us, but for ourselves, right? To really be in this vigilant state, to know, to see, and to be able to be courageous when it's our turn to be courageous and to protect. So sanctuary doesn't happen unless we feel safe. And sometimes that's the energy that's needed, right? This, this surround of protection. And first, that comes from God, from spirit, from creator, from whatever you want to call that presence. It comes from love. And so that's, I'm going to just encourage us all to like be in this meditation a little bit further, to dive deeper into our own experience of what it is that is seeking to be uh, seen, truly, to be protected, to be surrounded by love by truth and by life itself.